2018 Lincoln MKT Review The Lincoln MKT needs a makeover and keep it competitive against luxury SUVs. The 2018 Lincoln MKT has some appeal to use distinctive design, appealing report on features and strong available turbocharged V6 engine. But its stated overall design holds it back from like a truly desirable pick for just a luxury crossover. Not surprisingly, it is the same story while using Ford Flex where the MKT is predicated. Both have experienced the market for a lot more than seven years without a significant redesign that might as well be a very long time for the typical passenger vehicle. The luxury-oriented MKT is further hampered by its sloping roofline that reduces cargo space and third-row headroom in comparison to the boxier flex. If paying for any three-row luxury crossover SUV we feel you'll be happier with just about one of the MKT's rivals. Even some non-luxury designs include surpassed it with regard to features and refinement. What's new? The 2018 Lincoln MKT trims are renamed Premier and Reserve, replacing the Bed Space MKT and EcoBoost, respectively. If you want to at the 2018 Lincoln MKT, we advise checking out the Reserve. It's the only trim level using the turbocharged V6, which we prefer for the quicker plus much more authoritative acceleration, in particular when hauling extra passengers and towing. In addition to the stronger engine, in addition, you get an adaptive suspension for better handling and standard all-wheel drive. After that, it's only a matter of deciding whether you would like the reserve's optional packages. Since they add a lot of the MKT's advanced driver safety aids, we'd say get these, too. Trim Levels and Features the 2018 Lincoln MKT is really a large luxury crossover wagon with three rows of seats. It's offered in two trim levels, Premier and Reserve. Seven passenger seating is standard, but optional second row captain's chairs reduce capability to six. The MKT Premier features a 3.7-litre V6 303 horsepower, 278 pound-feet of torque as well as the MKT Reserve turns into a turbocharged 3.5-litre V6 365 horsepower, 350 lbft of torque. Both have a 6-speed automatic transmission. We like an added power on the Reserve, but either way you can be getting a lot of standard features. The Premier, and that is front-wheel drive only, is included with features including 19-inch alloy wheels, Adaptive Xenon headlights, automatic wipers, keyless ignition and entry, remote engine start, a hard and fast glass sunroof, rear parking sensors, an electricity liftgate along with a rear view camera. Inside, you can find just an automatic climate control, leather upholstery, heated and ventilated power front seats, 6040 split folding second row seats with heating outboard only. 5050 split folding third row seats, an electrical tilt handless coping tire, driver seat memory settings and retractable manual second row sunshades. Technology features add the SYNC 3 infotainment system, an 8 inch touch screen, Bluetooth connectivity, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay smartphone app integration, plus a 10 speaker audio system. The reserve trim level is supplied similarly but adds adaptive suspension dampers and standard all-wheel drive. With the reserve, it's also possible to add extra optional features. The optional Elite package, which supplies a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross-traffic alert, power folding third row seats including a tailgate seating feature, a heated controls, a navigation system plus a 14 speaker premium speakers. The optional technology package available only in combination using the Elite package includes adaptive cruise control, a forward collision warning system, a lane departure warning and intervention system, as well as an automatic parallel parking assist system. Standalone options for that reserve model include 20-inch wheels, 
heated and ventilated sliding second row captain's chairs reducing capacity from seven to passengers, a second row refrigerator console relating to the captain's chairs, a panoramic power sunroof plus a rear seat entertainment system. Driving The base MKT's acceleration is underwhelming. We love the stronger power and much more button a down feel with the MKT reserve. The turbocharged V6 is a good amount of grunt for passing, as well as the reserve's exclusive adaptive suspension improves this big wagon's agility without degrading ride quality. Comfort The MKT earns high marks due to the comfortable ride quality and supportive front seats. Up to the heated and cooled second row captain's chairs, along with the rear seat occupants could have it just nearly as good. The third row seats are another matter entirely, however, and lack sufficient head and leg room. Interior The MKT's design does little to inspire or impress. The material's quality is okay, however the all black dash and dated, commonplace look on the center control layout are far away from a luxurious. Utility the MKT recently 17.9 cubic feet of cargo capacity behind the third row seats. Fold the second and third row seats down, and you also end up with a more useful 75.9 cubic feet of storage. But in any event, the MKT's sloped rear hatch causes it to be tough to load bulkier items. Technology we much like the SYNC 3 infotainment system that features a large touchscreen along with an easy to center face. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto assist you to incorporate many from the apps in your smartphone straight into the in-dash screen. <laughs>